Hello guys, Trax100 here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Uh, this video, I have created something in a creative world, as you guys can tell, I'm in creative mode, in a flat world, and I wanted to show you guys something, and it's what I'm going to be making in my world. Um, this took about two and a half hours to tweak out and get completely right. Now let me show it to you, and then I'll explain everything. Uh, so, as you guys can see, I am in Shaders Mod. Uh, just because it looks awesome. Uh, this, yeah, let me let me show you off some of the redstone. Yeah, has multiple layers. Mm-hmm. Now you may be wondering, what does this do? And uh, literally, you know how I do games uh, outside of Minecraft. Like I have, I do other game series, and it's like another RPG, but it does end, unlike Minecraft. Minecraft goes pretty much on forever to your imagination. So, uh, this is to choose a game. So, right now I have four, well, three games that I can play that I have. Uh, I have Skyrim, uh, Saints Row the Third, hold on, I got a notepad up here, and Dark Void. So, I have three games that I can play, and essentially, I, what I have done is made a randomizer, completely random, and these lights will start will blink on and off. Uh, if if they are activated, like if they randomly get chosen. Now, in Minecraft, they do have randomizers, so let me just show you how to make one really, like really, really fast. A randomizer, okay? Uh, done. That's a randomizer. That's Minecraft's randomizer right there. Right there is a randomizer. So like it has a 50% chance to do stone, 50% chance to do redstone. So let's do it. Gives me stone. And if I put stone back, it gives me redstone. But it gives me stone again. And it's completely random. Of course, stone right now is actually getting a really good percentage. For some odd reason it is. There we go, got the redstone. Uh, as you guys can see, it's 50%. The stone got quite a bit. Now, a thing on how this works is with the new comparators. Well, they're not new anymore. They're sort of in the game. Uh, and I also have a hopper. So, comparators measure how much stuff is in a hopper, dispenser, and chest. And droppers, because I'm those are droppers not a dispensers they're droppers so as you know well as you may or may not know don't know if you guys do or not uh, if I shoot something out of here it can go into the hopper and it will measure out yeah so three three is what I'm gonna be doing or what I've done here reason for that is because when you put a like actual weapon in it counts as 64 items. So, if I put one in there, actually it's going to go straight back. So, if I just hit this button, you're going to see it's going to pulse. Only one. Uh, but if I put the sword in there, you see it's going to pulse all three. Let's see if I can get this right. All three. It only does three, but it counts as an entire stack instead of one. And since it is a randomizer, like a, this is randomized. What I have done for every single dropper here is I have put eight random items and a wooden sword. So it has a one ninth chance for each and every uh, lamp here. A one ninth chance. That way it lasts a little bit longer, the randomizing. But it still is a random amount of time that it does get chosen. Uh, like it went four times around. And the times around only takes about, mm, I'd say about eight seconds in total. For the entire, like one entire loop for scanning three. In other words, uh, this is just one. So if one item goes to here, this isn't going to act get activated. In other words, this piston isn't going to get activated and moving the block. So that with one stone going into here, it's going to, the current's going to travel down this line, go through this block, go down here, and what where this goes is this goes all the way back to the beginning and restarts the entire process until one is chosen 
Now, once one is chosen, it moves a piston over, so no other currents can go through. And as soon as that current dies, there's no more currents throughout the entire machine. So, I have created a machine in Minecraft. Uh, oh yeah, once the 64 is chosen, it creates a loop here, so it's just one solid current to keep this piston on. Um, I think I'm going to have to change that. I'm going to have to make the current a little bit longer. But I haven't really discovered that out yet. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, but yeah, it would be it'd be useful. Because all I need to do is get that one pulse. I just need to kill that one pulse. Make sure it doesn't go on through the machine. Uh, so yeah, let's watch the machine in action for a couple of tries. So, as you guys can see, the bottom one just went. Second one just went. And the third one's going right now. And it finished and it just started over. So it doesn't really take long for it to scan through the whole thing, but it has a one ninth chance for every single one. So it could potentially go, uh, what is it, like three times around before picking one? Because it, yeah, it has like a one third chance. Yeah, it actually does have a one third chance. Okay, so it could go around nine times if our worst luck. Like, for the worst, it could go around nine times. Uh, but, looks like that this is the fourth time. And one should get chosen this round, because the probability is actually pretty high now. For one to get chosen. No, looks like our... We have bad luck. Hmm. Anything chosen yet? Nope. Sixth time around. Nothing yet. Seventh time around. Oh, God. Our luck really sucks. I mean, potentially it could be longer than nine, but... Eighth time. Ninth time. Oh, God. There we go. Got one. So the ninth time, one went. And as you can see, it flashes. So in other words, this would have been the second choice which I believe, uh, what was my second choice that I said? Uh, I think it was Saints Row the Third that I said was my second choice. I can't remember. But as you can see, that was a really long one, but that's probably the most amount of time it's going to take. Uh, so how do I reset this? Now, there isn't a reset button because once one of these goes off, uh, the current is looped back around. So I'd have to destroy a piece of redstone, but then I'd have to go go back and place it myself. So I'd have to create a door to go down here, like where this machine would be, and no, no, there we go. Uh, so I'd have to re I have to replace two pieces of redstone. For instance, I have to replace two pieces of redstone on the second layer, and that's what it does. So let's watch it again to see if we get a different result, and how long this one takes this time. And then we will get into building this in the, in our world. That is right. So that's the first time around. Okay, so we're on our second now. Just watch it. Okay, second time one got chosen. This time was the third one. So, this does take a lot of redstone to do. It takes so much time to build. But I am determined to build this. And then test it. See if it works. Show you my failures. I didn't want to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of failures, uh, let me just go ahead and reset this really quick. Because uh, this one is probably the shortest really quick because it's a top layer. Uh, this was my first idea. This one was so much more complicated, okay? But other than that one, like that one wasn't as complicated as this one. Uh, my, my, old, like my first attempt at this, it was a timing system to where a, a certain amount of time goes and these are flashing and then whatever which one is flashing uh, it, it one of them stays lit which I thought was extremely hard to do and actually is really hard to do but then I got into the system that I have over there now which is this except I was gonna do three in this one so I had a one-third chance for, per one uh, but that one's one ninth per dispenser or dropper and essentially it, it was so hard like if you thought that was complicated, this was like four times more complicated. And I can, I don't think it will work if I start it up, but I can try it. 
yeah, it didn't work. All right. Uh, actually, I think if I just play, say, Redstone Torch there, it should start up. Oh, wait, no, I only got to the point in this... I did have them flashing at one point, but I only got to the point where if, a, if the sword gets chosen, it knocks out all the redstone. Ooh, it's going to get dark here. Uh, so, yeah, it started to knock out all the redstone. That's where I got to the point, and I'm like, no, I think I'll just do a loop, and, that's, and then I just thought of an easier way to do it, and that happened to be this way over here. If you guys can still see. Uh, let's do time set zero. And there we go. So, let's start building this in my world. Sorry for the long creative world thing. Okay, so we are now in my world once again. There's a creeper over there. And there's some chickens around. I just wanted to show you guys uh, what my world looks like with Shader's mod now. Um, yes, I know I've played with it in the past. But I just wanted to show it to you guys now. Uh, what it looks like. Orange beam. <laughs> Just in the sky, randomly. Everything looks awesome. I like it. it. Looks very, very good. And it's like coming day, so it's not as good as it would have been at like pure pitch dark. But if we go in the house, that's where you can see it the most. Yeah. It looks pretty good in here. Um, now, I'm going to sleep, and then we're going to choose a spot on where to build this project, or where to build this. As you guys see, I'm, I tried to find something to build it out of. So far, I've gone with white wool and bricks. Uh, but that's what I think, but I might end up changing it, depending on how it looks. Yeah, so it's going to be out here somewhere. Um, I was actually thinking, there's nothing over here besides this temporary chicken farm that I have. And shaders mod, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to play with it, because I'm getting 25 frames per second. But it looks, does look really, really beautiful. Everything's wonderful. Uh, I don't think I can play with it. So, ooh. Oh, yeah, watch this. I, I don't think I showed you guys very well motion blur. Let's see if I can do it. There we go, did it. Isn't that cool? X is the easiest way to show it. Uh, so, I think I'm going to build it. Um... Mm, yeah, right here. I think right where this chicken farm is. I'm going to take down the chicken farm and start building it. And I'm going to show you guys the prototype, like the building prototype. And the redstone should be all done by then. Because I'm trying to make my video, sh video shorter. So, yeah. Hopefully it will be all done with no flaws by the time I get back. Alright, guys. So, I pretty much finished it, but this is about the fourth day I've been working on it. And trust me, with school, I don't really have time to work on it. So, I just wanted to tell you before I show uh, you what I built, uh, that I have come up in my head with a way to reset this automatically. So, instead of having one of these here, like a repeater system here, I'm going to do a RS Norlatch. It's really simple to do. Uh, let's see if I can just make one really quick here. It's sort of like, let's see, I don't know how to explain it, so I'm just going to show it. It's like this, and the redstone current just goes like that, and like this. And except it's going to be reversed, so I'd have to put a button there. And there we go. It'd be reversed like that, sort of. I don't know how I'm going to make it work, but, wow, first time. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's just the, the randomizer didn't go, it's just, okay, so this is what I come up with, or came up with, uh, so, yeah, don't, don't say that I ripped off Etho, because I just only went with the colors, I went the arches with, uh, like, I, I got the colors and the ideas from Etho, but I did, different designs than Etho, and especially inside the building, it looks a lot different. And the roof, guys, I'm not going to keep the roof exactly the same. Uh, the roof looks absolutely terrible. So I'm going to redo that in my normal world, see what I can come up with that. I'll show you the roof. It just sucks. It, trust me, it sucks. Um, <laughs> I tried to do it a specific way, and I found out how I'm going to do it, and I'll just... 
let you guys see the end result in the next episode of this. Uh, but this is what I was going to go with, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with something like this. In fact, I know what I'm going to go with. All right, so now time to show you inside here because I don't have much time because I got to get to my homework. Uh, so I got the stripes here. I think it looked, I think, I thought it went well for the room. Got lights above, and ta da! Guess what? There's no torches in here. It looks good like this. It looks good like this. Puts a lot of death. Room is big. Uh, if I read signs, what to build. So I'm going to build two of those machines. Easy access. So if I if something ever does get wrong with it, I don't know how, but if something ever did, uh, I can access to it. I'm going to put a trap door here and have it go down to where all the redstone is. Uh, this is just a random button here. I think I might make this reset button. Uh, but it says, press the button to start the random choice or choose whatever uh, what game to play so essentially uh, I'm gonna make one of these for what to build in my world since I have many options of what I can build in my world I have like eight that I have an idea of what to build in my world and I'm just gonna choose three that I feel like building and it's gonna randomly choose one for me and what game to play this one's gonna be used a lot less that this is gonna be used at the beginning of every episode this is gonna be used for when I beat uh, a game for instance, I'm still playing Oblivion. I play it on weekends, but I don't play it on weekdays because of school. And I just press that button, and it would calculate it and tell me what game I'd play next. This one, I would say, would go off every um, maybe two or three months, maybe, because Oblivion is a long game. Depends how long the game is, really. Uh, so... Thank you guys for watching. Sorry for the little bit of a longer video. Actually, it's been a little bit shorter, but I don't know how long this was. No, it's been longer. Okay. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time where I start building this, and we may actually be in 1.7. If you guys don't know about 1.7, you guys can go ahead and look it up. There's plenty of videos out there uh, that explain 1.7, the new terrain update, which if 1.7 does come out before this is done, I'm going to go explore 1.7 just because it looks amazing. So, once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.